tonight we're going to talk about home groups and evangelism. And some of you may say, again, every single service, home groups and evangelism. Well, the reason we do this is because we see results behind it. So about two months ago, I have this, we had this girl come into the service. Her name's Paloma. Most of you know her. And if you don't, you will by the end of the service. Um, she came, gave her life to Jesus the first service she came. A week later, she got baptized and invited her friend Mindy to come with her to support her getting baptized, to watch. And in a few days, I met with Mindy and got to know, you know, each other and get just to know each other. And Mindy started opening up and sharing that her mom has lung cancer, really severe lung cancer. So we prayed for her right there. And then as the weeks gone up, went on, you know, we prayed home group after home group and in our individual time in morning prayer. And last Sunday, a different home group prayed for her as well and for her mom. Mindy's mom had an appointment on Monday or on Tuesday uh, at the hospital for an operation to see what they could do to remove the cancer and determine how long Mindy's mom had to live. So this was really severe uh, cancer. Before they opened her up to, you know, do whatever they do, they decided to take a one last CAT scan. When they looked at the CAT scan, they uh, came to the realization that all the cancer in her lungs was completely gone. So now Minnie's mom. <laughs> and that is how great our God is. Some people may think just a few girls praying, you know, what could that can do? We don't know much. We're not, you know, great leaders and stuff like that. But every prayer counts. And when you backtrack to how this all happened, it's because Paloma invited Mindy. Paloma reached out to one of her good friends and said, you need to check this out. This helped me and this will help you as well. So this is why we support and always urge and continue to encourage everyone to invite and evangelize because we see results behind it. We see that through every prayer, through every evangelizing, there is something good behind it. So with that, the conference is coming up August 7th and 8th. I encourage all of you to take those days off and invite at least two people, one for every day. Because you don't know what can happen through those people. You could bring those people, they could get saved, and they could bring a bunch of other people. And you don't know what people are struggling with. You don't know what's going on in their life that God could help them with. 